Hello friends, continuing from the last video, uh, we saw this example which was asked in NCA level 2 exam, uh, the achievement standard of algebra in 2009. The question was we got a circle and a line, they're intersecting and we had to find the points of intersection. So I showed you how we can do it algebraically, that is you substitute this equation of y into this and uh, find the two values of uh, oops, uh, find two values of x and uh, delete this uh, you have to find the two values of x uh, and we got the two values of x as uh, phi negative sorry phi phi and one negative three and uh, I explained how you can check it on a graphic calculator. This point is 1, negative 3, and this point is 5, 5. Now the next question, uh, this probably was a merit question. The next question is surely an excellence question. So the question is like this, the same year. This was question E, the last question was question D. You can check it out. Okay, now what is the question? The question is like this. The line y is equal to 2x plus k is a tangent uh, to the circle, uh, the, the same circle that we saw in the last example. Okay. Okay. Mm, so, uh, and k is a constant, and you have to find the possible values of k. So, I hope you understand a tangent is a line which just touches the circle. Okay, so here the gradient of this line is 2, so basically we want to find the y-intercept. So if you look in the last example, this is not a tangent, okay? So if you, if I take this line and put it like this, this is a tangent. So this can be one possibility, uh, and if I highlight this, let me copy it. And let me paste it here. And the other possibility can look somewhat like this. Okay. I don't know. So these are the two possible tangents, which I think. So basically what they're asking is, they're asking you, what is this y-intercept here? And uh, if you drop it down, so there'll be y-intercept. So you want to find uh, basically the equation of these two lines. Okay. So. Uh, the same process, what we do is we substitute this into this equation. That's what I've done. So this is your circle equation and this is the line equation. Or this is the equation of the circle and this is the equation of the line. So the same thing in place of y, I have substituted 2x plus k. So x squared plus 2x plus k squared minus 10x is equal to 0. Now, this 2x plus k squared can be written as 2x plus k times 2x plus k. And I hope you understand the expansion. This is 2x times 2x is 4x squared. This is 2x times k plus 2x times k, which is 4kx. And k times k is k squared minus 10x. Now, I have grouped, uh, okay, I have arranged this. So this simplifies to 5x squared. And I've grouped this 4kx with minus 10x. So only rearrangement. So this is 5x squared plus 4kx from here, minus 10x plus k squared is equal to 0. Now then what I've done is I have factored out an x from this group. So if you factor out an x, you'll have 4k minus 10 times x plus k squared is equal to 0. Okay, now this is simple algebra manipulation, algebraic manipulation. Now, the, this is the most important step. Now, you know the quadratic formula. I'll show you this is the quadratic formula. Okay, now this is the quadratic formula. Now, now you know a parabola uh, has uh, three possible ways in which 
uh, it can intersect the y axis, or oh, sorry, the x axis. That means what I mean is, suppose this is the x and y axis. So the parabola uh, can say look like this. So here we see there are two roots here, okay, or there are two points of intersection. The second possibility is. Uh, There we go. So let me delete this. So the second possibility is uh, it intersects the parabola, cuts the x axis at only one point. So what do I mean? So if you draw a parabola like this, so this is the other possibility. You've got only one point or one solution here. So in this case, you have two roots. Okay, so b squared minus 4ac in this case would be greater than 0. So here we can say b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. In this case, b squared minus 4ac would be equal to 0. That means you can check this up, make up a quadratic equation, and uh, if it is a perfect square, Okay, so I'm not going into that detail now. So this has got only one solution. So here what they're saying is there's only one point of intersection, which means b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. If you look at a chord, now if this is 0, your solution would be only minus b over 2a, and that is, that is what it means. So here, algebraically, when we say there's only one point of intersection, this is what you should write, that b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. Now, if that is so, you have to identify what is your a, what is your b, and what is your c. So this is your a, this is your b, and this is your c. So I have used this. So this becomes my b is 4k minus 10. So 4k minus 10 squared minus 4 times a. My a is 5 and my c is k squared. So minus 4 times 5 times k squared is equal to 0. Then I've expanded it. So if I expand this, I'm not going to detail, so that expands to this. That is 16k squared minus 80k plus 100. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, so this should be 4k minus 10. Sorry, I made a mistake here. So this is 4k minus 10. And this is 4k minus 10. Sorry. So 4k minus 10 times 4k minus 10 expands to 16k minus 80k plus 100 minus 20k squared is equal to 0. So this 16k squared minus 20k squared gives me minus 4k squared minus 20, sorry, minus 80k plus 100 is equal to 0. Okay. So so again, this, is, this has become a quadratic equation, okay? Now, to solve this, you can use this quadratic formula, but I'm not going to bother. But I'm going to use the graphic calculator to figure out these answers. So let me open up my, open my graphic calculator. So my A is negative 4, B is negative 80, and C is 100. So I'll go... And I'll go to menu, I'll go to equation. Uh, where is my equation? Here it is. And I'll go to polynomial. This is second degree polynomial. So let me see. Okay. So, okay. Mm. Let me move this. Oops, I can't move it. So, mm. So my A is minus 4, my B is, I can't see my B, my B is negative 80, so minus 80, execute, and what is my C? Okay, C is 100, so C is 100, execute, and I have to solve it. So here we go. So these are this is one root, uh, one point, 
8, blah, blah, blah. And the second root is negative uh, 21.18, uh, the whole number. So, so that is how I got it. Okay. So that's how I got it. Now I want to, uh, we can check this on a graphic calculator. So let us do that. So you open up and uh, uh, so menu, let me go to graph. So my equation of the circle is uh, square root of 10 x minus x squared. If you remember, this equation will give me the the circle, the top part of the circle. Okay. So let me check, look at the scale. Sorry, shift V window. I'll make it standard, and then draw it. Oops. What happened? Okay, I didn't type it. So shift square root then x minus x squared and then draw it. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. uh, let me see. 10x minus x squared, that is right. So, okay, let me give me, give me one, one more try. So this is go to graph and uh, shift square root of Oh. Oh, let me put a try that five. So shift to square root of bracket ten x minus x squared. Close the bracket. Uh, the scale letter. Make it standard. Okay, here we go. This is the top part of the circle. And uh, the equation of the tangent is 2x. Uh, I'll put the positive part, so that is plus 1 point, I'll type in the whole number, 1803398837, and see how it looks like. So can you see this is a tangent, okay? Now, if you type in the second equation or the second part of the circle, so shift square root, oh, sorry, so minus shift square root bracket 10x minus x squared, close the bracket, and the, equation, the second equation of the circle, sorry, the line would be 2x minus 21. Uh, point uh, 1803398 so so this will draw all the graphs and that you can see so can you see this is the line the top line this is one tangent and this is the other tangent okay if you want to see it better okay still better so this this is one tangent and this is the other tangent Thank you very much.